hello, today I'm here to do a flip through of Saxon Math 2 so you can see kind of how this program works and what comes with it. So the first thing you'll need is the teacher's edition. Then you get a set of workbooks. There's two workbooks, part one and part two. I just have part one here to show you, but the workbooks are in the exact same format. Um, and then there's the home study meeting book and then it comes with this package of flashcards. And so I'm going to show you a lesson here and kind of how it works. I'm actually going to skip to lesson 11 because lesson 10 is a test day. So once you get to lesson 10, there is a test every five lessons. Okay, so lesson 11, it tells you what the lesson is about here. Then it tells you the materials you will need. You can buy a manipulative kit from Saxon, but some things like this, 10 stuffed animals, dolls, action figures, or other toys, that of course will be just from your own house. Pattern blocks come with the Saxon math kit, but I just have my own pattern blocks. And then fact sheet A, 1.2, that is in their workbook. And then in the morning, it tells you what to write on the board or on the meeting strip or on the board sometimes. If it asks for something on the board, I just use a piece of paper like this. This is something we did yesterday. Um, and then it goes into a meeting. That's the first thing you're going to do every day. And that is with your calendar book. And it tells you exactly what to say. Everything in bold is exactly what you should say. And it goes through all this and um, the non-bold writing is what you should do. So bold is what you should say, non-bold is what you should do. And then it has a weather graph and then counting. So let me show you that. For each month, there is a calendar here. It will have them fill in the date, say the date, practice the months of the year, practice the days of the week and a weather graph here to, okay, it's, we live in a not cold area, but you know, if it's, you know, lo less than 90 degrees, my daughter thinks it's cold. So <laughs> has you fill in this. And then it always has you do some sort of counting activity here in the back, there is a hundred number chart. And so it will say like here today, we're going to count forward and backward from 51 to 73. Then you're going to count by tens to 100, and then backwards by tens. And so you will use this hundreds chart to do those counting activities. I just marked left and right and before and after up on the corners for my daughter. Um, and then it might guide you to a counting strip or something like that. It tells you exactly what page to go to. There is no guessing. And then it has some graph questions. Now we skip these because this is a birthday graph that you're supposed to use a class for, so we skip that part. And then patterning, and then clock. And you will need a little clock. However, there is one that comes with the manipulative kit if you purchase that. Um, again, I just had my own already, so I didn't need to purchase the manipulative kit. Then here we have number of the day, and then um, it often has you practice your flashcards, but I'm actually not seeing that on this day, but I could have I missed that. But it usually tells you to practice flashcards. So they so far have learned the doubles facts and the plus one facts up to this point. So these are the flashcards that they would practice. And on the back, the answer, of course, is the first one here. So they can check their answers easily if they're working on their own. Then we have the lesson. Again, bold is what you say. And then creating and reading a pattern. This is still part of the lesson. Okay, and then, oh, here we go. Here's where it's having you practice your flashcards. Practice the tan flashcards. And then it says, give your child fact sheet A, 1.2, time your child for one minute, correct the fact sheet with your child, record the score, allow time for your child to complete the unfinished facts. And so that, let me show you what that looks like. And here. 
So that would be this page right here, A1.2, A1.2, so everything is labeled. They'd have one minute to finish this worksheet and record their score here. Now by, you know, by the time this worksheet comes along, they've already been practicing. They're, so the first few days of lessons, they're not yet doing the fact sheet on this. And so um, that is why I often tell people that this teacher's manual is very important because it introduces concepts long before they show up in the workbook. Okay, so then we get to the written practice. Complete worksheet 11A with your child and complete worksheet 11B with your child later in the day. I find that a bit redundant unless your child is struggling with that concept and needs a little more practice. Now, if this was a school setting, you would send this home for them to do 11B as homework. But how we do it is we just go through the worksheet and she does all the questions here. And then we only do the back if I feel like she needs it. And so far this is all review from Saxon 1, so we haven't needed to do the back yet. Um, but it is the same format as you can see, just different numbers. So unless they're really struggling, I don't see the need to do both sides of the worksheet. So that's what that looks like. Again, we'll go into lesson 12, same format, lesson preparation, the meeting. And, and during this meeting time, you'll notice, you know, different um, counting by fives or twos or things will come up here long before they're introduced in the lesson. So it is important to do this meeting, I feel like, because it really ties in some extra concepts there. And then, um, of course, you have all the clock, the number of the day, that sort of thing, and then again, the lesson. So each one just goes the same way. And of course, the teacher's book has the answers to the worksheets. Of course, you know, this is second grade, so it is not that difficult to figure out, but um, that is still helpful just in case. But as you can see, this is very well laid out for you. On test days, the tests are right in this workbook. There's also some oral assessments that you will see, like on lesson 10, which we're going to do tomorrow, there will be an oral assessment and I will keep score. Okay, so every 10 lessons, there's an oral assessment. Every five lessons, there's a written assess assessment. So let me show you what that looks like. Assessment one, lesson 10, math two. And they would do this, it only is one-sided, without any help. They still do have a lesson on test days, but it is a bit more fun, I have found usually. So this one, they'll use pattern blocks. And of course, that is all in the teacher manual. All right, I hope that helps. Please let me know if you have any questions about this program.